Okay, in this video, we're going to, in the last video, 3E, we talked about uh, law of cosines and law of sines, or law of sines and law of cosines, and so we are going to, in this video, BMA Physics 3F, we're going to use, we're going to start off with law of sines, um, and then we are going to... Well, if we start off with law of sines, we can always end it up. You know, if you, if you can crack in with a problem starting off with law of sines, you're never going to need uh, law of cosines. But some problems you need to start with law of cosines. Okay, so I'm going to make a line here. Uh, and I'm going to make 14 centimeters long. And then I'm going to go off at say oh 65 degrees and so I'm going to go up in 65 degrees and I'm going to make that 9 centimeters long so what did I say that was? I said that was 65 degrees I said this was 14 centimeters. I said that was 9 centimeters. And I want to know what is this distance and I already know. I can see it right on there. Right? I'm not going to lie to you. I can see the answer right now. It's 13 centimeters. Okay, so I got it. I got my little cheat sheet right up there. That's 13 centimeters, and um, and I can also figure out using my protractor here. I can figure out this one. I see that's going to be 38 degrees, and I can see this one up here. I can tell that that one is going to be 77 degrees. And if I sort of do, and I, I add those up and they add up, I add them up with my head and they add up to 180. So these are the answers that I'm looking for. Okay, well, so how are we going to do it? Okay, well right off the bat, um, I said we're going to start with law of sines, but actually we're going to have to use law of cosines the way that I set this up, but that's okay. This is just how it works. Okay. So I don't care which is A, I don't care which is B, which is C. I'm going to call this A, which makes that big A. I'm going to call this little B, which makes that big B. I'm going to call this little C, which makes that big C. And now my law of cosines, law of law of cosines is going to be c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. So I'm going to have c is equal to the square root of 9 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 times 9 times 14 times cosine 65 degrees. Now, here's the thing. Everybody wants to do this in a messed up way on their calculator. They want to just sort of go um, and do it step by step. What's 9 squared? What's 14 squared? Uh, I want to do it all in one shot. And so I'm going to show you how to do it all in one shot. That's why we have powerful calculators to help us with this. I am going to go square root of 9 squared plus 14 squared minus 2 times 9 times 14 times cosine 65 close a parentheses, close a parentheses Boom, 
which is basically 13, which is what we measure. So this is 13 centimeters. C is 13 centimeters. Okay. So, we used law of cosines and we found that side. Now we're going to use law of sines to find, let's find that angle. Okay, so if we're going to find that angle, we're going to say, uh, pull it over here like this, we're going to say law of sines, sine A over A equals sine, the angle we have is sine C, so big C over side little c. Okay, so I say I'm going to rearrange this to solve for A. So I'm going to say sine A is equal to A times sine C over C. And so I'm going to say that A, angle A, is going to be the sine inverse of A times sine C all over little c. Again, doing some advanced sort of manipulation uh, as an example just because I want you to be smarter and the way we get you smarter is we push the envelope. Sine inverse of little a is 9 times the sine of big C which is 65 and all of that is going to be over side C which is 13 and we're going to plug that in on RTI 83 and we are going to say second sine 9 times sine 65 close that parentheses, divided by 13, close that parentheses, boom, 38.8, we're going to call it 39 degrees. And you'll see up here, we had previously measured that as 38 degrees, so I think that's pretty good agreement. And then, how do we find B? Well, we know that A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. So we know that um, 39 degrees plus B plus 65 degrees equals 180. And that of course is going to mean that B is going to be 76 degrees. Okay, so there we have a general triangle where there is no right angle and we use the law of cosines and the law of sines to solve that. And we'll come back with one more example in the next video.